I'd like to introduce John Steele, president of Covey Island Boat Works. John, could you tell us about this cockpit? Yeah, hi. Uh, this is the uh, cockpit of Firefare, our most recent uh, project. Um, it's a very similar cockpit to what was on uh, Maggie B, the same owner's last boat. Um, he does some pretty extensive and, and serious offshore cruising. Um, an interesting feature is at the front of it here what we call the winter house or the shelter. It's, a, it's an area between the deck house and the cockpit. The two windows there are very easily removable and it's, uh, it's nice and nasty weather that the, uh, one of the uh, two on watch crew can be in there. We have the uh, uh, navigational equipment right there as well. Um, some of the features in the cockpit itself, there's the uh, two uh, sets of engine, engine instruments. Uh, she's twin drive. Um, the, uh, the steering wheel uh, was a custom wheel that we built out of Angelique um, for the vessel. And uh, the pedestal is actually a, uh, it's, it's a standard Edson pedestal but we've mounted it backwards, which allows us to have the two engine controls uh, back with the helmsman. And uh, it, it seems to us this works quite nicely because you've got your steering and you've got your engine controls rather than the normal, which you have to reach through the wheel. It also allows you to stand in front of the wheel, somewhat schooner style, and, and steer from up here. Small table. Um, that uh, ends up actually living here most time when you drop the leaves down it, it doubles as a hand grab and a place to put a cup of coffee. Um, there's a pair of seats in the two corners here and these just slide back out of the road so that when you're alongside or if you want to get out uh, and have a look at your headsail you can do that quite easily or you simply uh, draw them out and uh, they make a very comfortable position to steer from when you're when you're on watch. Uh, She's schooner rigged without a headsail um, and uh, the sheets and, uh, and lines are all controlled from the cockpit here. We've got uh, two winches and jammers which allow us to, uh, to regulate everything from back here. Um, and that's about it. Great. Thank you. Welcome aboard uh, Firefair. This is uh, Covey Island's most recent uh, project. She's a uh, 56 foot on deck, actually 57.4, but we started calling her 56 and couldn't change it. Um, she's a 57 foot schooner rig. Um, we're at the moment in the, uh, what the owner refers to as the crew mess. Uh, the dinette area here, there's a pilot berth outboard to starboard, and forward is the uh, ship's office, uh, again, the owner's terminology, nav station if you like, uh, a lot of electronics, it's a fairly high tech uh, set of systems that she carries. There's a small pantry here which is adjacent to uh, the galley, full galley on this side, fridge, freezer, um, propane stove. This uh, amazing uh, countertop is a piece of uh, slate that's got a uh, 50 million year old uh, fossilized fish in it. The owner found this piece of slate and had us uh, incorporated into the galley. There's a double sink. Fair bit of storage. Um, it was a bit of a challenge to accommodate all of the uh, uh, space we needed, so we've utilized the under deck between the deck beam spaces as well with little drop down bins that uh, will be used for knives and forks and plates and whatnot. Um, there's a small oil heater here which is connected to an integral hot water system that circulates throughout the vessel. Um, this bulkhead uh, diesel fueled heater heats the uh, water as do the engines when they're running as does shore power if you happen to be alongside and there's a, uh, a wet locker directly adjacent to the uh, to the uh, to the heater. Um, mounted here on the bulkhead is a uh, 
a list of the crew who uh, who built the vessel and uh, then on the other side above the nav station is the uh, what we call the builders plaque centerboard is underneath the cabin sole here uh, as are the fuel tanks there's two fuel tanks underneath here centerboard up the middle which is why the cabin sole has this cut out so the board can be completely removed that system is all hydraulically uh, operated um, and then moving below essentially the the theory with the vessel was to keep all of the living if you will up so we've got navigating cooking eating oil skins uh, everything is up here so that when you're on passage the crew who are on watch can be up here and and uh, working the boat moving below should go and then uh, moving below, the theory being with this door, you can close this door and the off-watch crew, if you like, have a certain amount of privacy and separation from the uh, on-watch crew. To uh, starboard is the uh, master's cabin. The, uh, all of this trim, by the way, is uh, black walnut which comes from the owner's family uh, farm in Illinois. He actually went out and sawed down the uh, the walnut trees to uh, ship up to us which we've then milled and and uh, turned into all of the trim and the doors on the vessel. To port is the uh, the guest double I guess you could refer to it and in the middle of the ship right here is uh, the main mast. This is a carbon fiber uh, column with a massive bearing underneath that uh, we can get a bitter, bit better uh, view of up forward. Um, and then forward of the two sleeping cabins is the head shower. Um, there's two sinks. The, the head itself is over here with the uh, toilet tucked in here so it works on either port or tack. Uh, porter starboard tack and um, another sink in the companionway here and this is also the shower. The shower is right in this area. You close the doors and we're in a watertight uh, basin. And then finally we're up in the cruise quarters. Um, the only thing missing here this morning there's a nice little ladder to get on deck. This by the way is also a watertight bulkhead. This is a, uh, a watertight door and here we've got the uh, the foremast um, and you can see this massive stainless steel plate on the bottom with uh, I believe it is 10 inch and a quarter bolts connecting it to the the uh, keel a great big massive uh, uh, mass step uh, inside of which is the uh, is a tail uh, bearing from a 747. That's what the entire mast rotates on to deal with the terrific loads that it uh, it gets. And then there is a custom bearing at deck, so the entire mast is free rotating. And finally, just forward of that, we have uh, another watertight bulkhead with an access hatch if you have to get up there. Essentially, what we have forward of here is fenders and rope storage, the chain locker. And as I said, it's a full collision bulkhead. Most of this area as well is storage. These plastic bins will end up being filled with spares and uh, stores for the vessel. And uh, as I said, this is the, uh, the cruise quarters.